Red 2 standing by. Red 5 standing by. Red something something standing by. Videos on the squaffy looking Nerf Hunter channel are intended for audiences of 13 and above. Hey guys, it's the Scruffy Looking Nerf Order back again for another video. And welcome to my channel where I like to talk about and review Star Wars toys that have been released over the years. And today's uh, toy that I'm looking at is this super cool X Wing helmet. Now, this is an exclusive from Galaxy's Edge and it's a generic X Wing pilot helmet. So let's take a closer look. This helmet isn't exclusive from Galaxy's Edge, but I did manage to pick it up from a different place. I picked it up from a website called Double Box Toys. Now, Double Box Toys pick up Galaxy's Edge toys, ship them over to the UK, and you can pick them up at a slightly inflated price. Uh, I paid $79.99 for this helmet, which um, in pounds, which is, uh, I thought, was pretty good value. It was in their sale. Regularly, it sells for $99.99. And we can see there on the price, at Galaxy's Edge, it was $99.99. So I don't think that's too much of a markup. In fact, actually, I think with the current exchange rate, I did really, really well picking up this helmet for uh, £80. Now let's go over some of the key features on this helmet. First of all, we can see we have that microphone. It's not a real microphone, but it is posable. So you can move that out of the way or tuck it right underneath your mouth. That's a really great feature. And then we can see we have adjustable uh, chin guard that goes right underneath your chin and you can take that off as well. It is literally on there with just two poppers each side. Um, now what's really cool about this helmet, unlike the Black Series helmets, the actual visor can move up and down. So we can literally push that visor up so you can see outside and not everything have that yellow uh, tint to it. And then we can move it back down really easily. Now, because the Black Series uh, version has lights in there, you sort of lose that function. So there's no lights in there. This is being pushed up and pushed back. That's all there is to it. But myself personally, I prefer this method because it's much more realistic that we can push it up and then you can have that clear vision as you go around, pull it down for um, any photos or if you want to just look a bit cooler. Now, it also has those cushions inside, very similar to what we saw in the Black Series uh, X-Wing helmets. And they are fully removable as well. So there's one, there's two, and the third one, and they're all just Velcroed on. And inside, you can see it's probably not as much detail as you'd expect in a Black Series helmet. It's pretty black in there. No real detail. I think because the pads cover it up, it's not the end of the world. But it's definitely not as good as the X-Wing helmet from uh, Hasbro. Now, one of the other main features is this does make uh, some sounds as well. So we can see just in this little corner here. There's a little on off button so if we well it's actually an on off and play button so if we push it towards myself uh now there we go that's now uh on the play mode and you can push this which cheek is it there we go it's this one push this cheek and you get all different noises now all the no, all the noises seem to be from the battle of yavin And I believe uh, that's because the soundboard in this helmet is exactly the same as the Galaxy's Edge Luke Skywalker helmet. So they've reused that sound. And that makes complete sense. The only issue is, as you go through the sounds, there's quite a lot of sounds, to be honest. Now, that's my issue with the soundboard, is why would Obi-Wan be talking to a generic X-Wing pilot. That doesn't make sense. So that's a bit of a shame that it hasn't just got that generic X-Wing chat 
and they didn't just take out the Obi-Wan quote because there's just no need for it to be in there. Now, I honestly can't work out the difference between the play mode and uh, the regular on mode. Now, that was obviously the play mode. And this is the on mode. So the only thing I can think of is maybe the on mode randomly selects the noises and the play mode plays the noises in order. But if you know it, if, if you know why, just let me know in the comments because I honestly can't work it out. It's driving me crazy. So of course with a helmet, you've got to wear it. So let me try this on for the first time. Ooh. There you go, I feel like I'm in. Ooh. Bit of a tight squeeze, but there we go. Let's get that. And that feels actually, once it's on, my ears are in those two holes in the cushions at the side. And yeah, that feels pretty comfy actually. Feels really nice. That's right now too, we're making a YouTube video. Here's a quick comparison with the Black Series mold and we can see how it compares to the Galaxy's Edge mold. And obviously they're based off the same X-Wing helmets. So they do look pretty similar, I have to say. Like when the visors are down, there's really not that much in it, but they are different molds. So this is definitely not being made but with the same mold as this one, there are some slight variations. And obviously the, the biggest difference is the button on this one is on the right and over here, our button is on the left. So they've definitely uh, sort of switched it over. But yeah, I think it's, it's, it's definitely different, but at the same time, it looks pretty much the same. And you can see there, I've activated the lights on that one and this one doesn't have that. So inside, this was a lot more hollow up here. This one's got obviously those lights built into the top. So this visor can't move and I've got the benefit of being able to slide that one down, which looks super cool. So my final thoughts on this helmet. I am genuinely surprised with the quality of this helmet. It's definitely up there with a Black Series helmet. The plastic is really, really sturdy and the fact that that visor can move is a real bonus. Now inside, the, definitely the details lost a little bit with the blackness, uh, but these cushions really do cover it up well and they're great quality as well. Now the paint job on it isn't the best. The wear and tear looks really, really forced and there's some places where it's completely missing. But I think as a generic X-Wing pilot, this looks really, really great. Thanks so much for watching guys, and until next time, may the foam flinging force be with you. Greetings, Exalted One. As a token of my goodwill, I present to you these two videos. Both are about Star Wars weapons and will serve you well. Until next time, may the foam flinging force be with you.